Okay, so here's another video and we're gonna do a Kirby. So this is our inspiration. It is from Love Skill Nail. Nails by Corey. All right, and she did a Kirby. So I'm gonna do this Kirby right here. This guy. And let's get started. She got some glitter on the background. And a nail, she did it on a thumbnail. These are glitter nails. I got some glitters here. Let's go for it. Put this out the way. That way the camera doesn't focus focus on that. So what I'm going to do is grab from my box of tips. She did it on a thumbnail. I'll do it on a thumbnail. Um, these are my ballerina gel tips. I use the thumbnails to practice most of all. So um, prep application is just like any gel tip application. Buff the top, get the shiny off. I got some glitters here from Wildflowers and some from Glitties and some that I've just had for a while. So I'm going to put this here. Uh, so these are the glitters I got. She's got like some sparkly ones and well, mostly sparkly ones. So I'll try to use, I'll use like this party mix one. We'll leave these ones alone. This party mix one, I think it's definitely from Wildflowers. Um, I want it to be spaced out a little bit. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a palette. Right? This is some base coat that I got from Kenya. Kenya's Nail Creations. And the reason I'm going to grab a palette and put a little bit of this glitter in the base coat is because I'm going to put on a base. This little glitter spoon is from my friend Sarah. And I think that should be enough because I don't, it doesn't need to be full. It's going to be a little spaced out. Yeah, that'd be cool. Also, I don't want it to be too thick because I'm not really encapsulating, but I am. Like I am, but I hurt. Right, you got it? You know what I'm saying? So just grab like any gel brush that you usually use. Let's grab a gel brush mix it up in there and like I don't need it to be too thick that's why I put it in base coat because we already had a foundation of the actual gel tip spread it around and I'm putting it on the actual on the, like the very base And I'm going to go through, I'm going to flatten it out just a little bit. Just so it's not lumpy. Alright, okay, cool. So let's pop that in a lamp. I'm going to cure that for about 10 seconds because this is only base. Let's get this out the way. We don't need it anymore. what I was cured with the base for 10 seconds now you can see it's still kind of like bumpy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an actual base coat on top and this is not a builder base Kenya does have a builder base but this is just a regular base coat that you use with her building a bottle line I only bought the pink I didn't buy the clear so let me show you how I'm gonna remedy remedy the bumpy glitter so it smoothed out a little bit. I'm gonna turn my hand upside down. If it was a client, I'd have them turn their hand upside down like that and roll it a little bit. And then I'm gonna pop that in the lamp. And it's gonna kind of like cover the glitter just a little bit. Now, after we do that, we're gonna come in with this. This is Cocoa's. It's their rainbow top gel. So it's got a little glitter in the top gel. I have this one, I have, they have a few. I think they have two, I think it's two. And then there, this one is the diamond. So the diamond's got like silver diamond bits, silver glitter bits, and this one has got like iridescent glitter bits. But this is a uh, tack-free top coat. So look, it's smooth, 
got one little spot sticking up like right there but that's why we need a tax free top coat so what I'm gonna do take next is the tax free top coat and it's just a little bit of extra glitter I'm not putting it on thick I'm going just down nice and even like I would and I'm gonna take that and carry that for 60 seconds in my lap and put that away so yeah these two these are from Coco Wiss it's the ultimate it's their non white top coat and they have it in rainbow and in diamond pretty nice So that's curing. Let's get rid of our glitter spoon. I don't need that. Now we're gonna do a Kirby. Do I have a Kirby stencil? I do. Hold on. Go to our stencil book. There we go. That's Kirby. That's his body. That's his feet. This is his eyes. Like the in part, inside part of his eyes. His actual eyes and his little mouth and his cheeks. His cheeks felt like he got little rosy cheeks. So. Tack free, nice. Now, we're gonna airbrush on top of it. So the plus about that was, one, I get a little thick top coat on there, but two, I can just go ahead and buff it because I'm gonna airbrush on top of it and I don't want it to be shiny. So I really just used the top coat because it had glitter in it already. And also because I didn't want to make my layer super thick on this nail. And I wanted it to be able to basically encapsulate that glitter make sure it's no sharp edges i know it's kind of like a ready file it's just the one i use for nail art cool so we got that part done let's clean this nail off grab a litmus pad here for this um nail art i'm actually going to use Air Tex or Air Gel Official because I just want to cure it in between. I don't want to wait a little time. And also, I'm going to do uh, layering. So, I don't want to wait for it to really dry, dry like I usually do with the other ones. So, the first thing we do is his body and grab your tweezers. We don't touch our stencils with our fingers. We grab them with our tweezers. Tweezers, tweezers. His body is pink. Body is pink. This is the colors I have. Uh, 153, 20, 163, 92, 98, and 53. So some pinks, red, blue, black, and white. Make sure you shake them up. Okay. So his body is like a pale pink. I have pale pink but if, if I wanted a little bolder I might add um no this would be fine I was thinking I would add a little bit of the fuchsia pink but that'd be that's pretty good and this pale pink is more opaque but I'll judge it when I start spraying now I do wear a mask when I use this one because it's kind of like it's got a real loud smell and it's not the best I feel like that's him, but I also feel like he's a little pinker and that's too too peachy. So because I feel like he's a little pinker, I'm gonna add one drop of this guy. And you're like, what is that? This is my favorite pink. It's the most neon one they have is 163 magenta. Pull some bubbles. It's a little bit hotter. I just wanted to be a smidge. One more drop of magenta and a drop of white. And I'll do a drop of white. That's way he's a little bit, it's a little bit more solid and I don't have to try to do two coats and cure my stencil. Kinda like it, but I feel like he's a little bit more lighter. <laughs>
Yeah, like that. And also, when he, when he cures, it's going to cure a little, like, lighter. So I'm just going to do his body. My stencil is pressed on really good. Spray on my hand, make sure I'm good. And just let it rest. Don't oversaturate your stencil with color, okay? I'm gonna flash cure him 10 seconds. I don't usually like curing my stencil, but I'm gonna give him 10 seconds. You can cure the stencil. It's not my favorite thing to do, okay? It doesn't ruin it. You can still wipe it off with like a little gel cleanser and he'll be reusable. See how it turns like a different color pink? So now I'm gonna give him a second little coat. Don't flood your stencil. Look at him. Let's pop him in the lamp. Cure, cure. Put my stencil in my magazine. But let me show you. That's how you clean the stencil off. Now the gel that's cured on there, it ain't gonna come off immediately. But eventually, if you have time, you can sit there and rub it to death. And it'll come off. But I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, totally reusable. Just take it and put it back in your stencil saver book. And save it for later. Oops. What page is he on? There he is. Okay, so we got his body in. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do his eyes. His eyes and his mouth. So we need this. Grab him off the thing. He's totally cured now. See? Totally cured. Now his mouth and the background of his eyes is black. So, you can see through the stencil to make sure you're putting it in the right spot. And you probably think, like, I ain't big enough for his little mouth to show through, but it is. Now, this is going to be black. Let's check and make sure. See the little part? Here is black and then it's blue at the bottom, white at the top. His mouth was his mouth is um black. His smile. So you take it clean apart. Blush out your pink. The best part about using black is you don't have to totally clean out the thing. Because black will spray black forever. Forever, ever, forever. And you don't need a lot because it's not that much I need to spray. A little dilution. Stir it up. See, black is spray black. And then let it rest. What I'm saying, let it rest. I don't want to overdo it. Eyeballs in the mouth. So let's pop that in the lap. We're going to cure that. While that's curing, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this black off. We're gonna do the top part of his eyes. Now this part here is gonna be white. This part is gonna be blue. And you're probably thinking like clothes are real close together. Well, they're close together because I wanted to make sure they lined up. But I'll show you. So the top is white and the bottom is blue, right? It's a layering stencil. Grab a piece of salvage, a piece, just a piece that 
it's salvage it's like it's a little piece this is from like where i pulled it off and i'm gonna do the blue first why am i gonna do the blue because i'm just getting black out of my hand piece and then when i get do the white i'll just eat easier so I, i'm just going from dark to less dark right that makes sense The blue that I'm using is blue number 53. But now that I think about it, we should do the white first. You know why? Because the black isn't just, the blue isn't gonna just show up on the black. So that's what we'll do. We're still gonna need this little salvage piece, but we'll do the white first, then we'll do the blue, which means we're gonna have to cure this on here. Use the, um, Pencil. Just a few drops of white, just a little dilution. You know what? There we go. Alright, so really hold on. I think I put this on here a little cricket. It looks like I got too much pink first. There you go. Let it rest. Because I don't want to flood the stencil, right? Now, pop it in the lamp, cure it. Give it 10 seconds. Right? Cap off what you don't need. blue and we still got his little feet to do the blue is on the bottom I'm gonna just do one drop of blue I know it feels like I'm or probably looks like I'm putting a lot I'm not I'm really not there we go like I said the blue is on the bottom so we're gonna cover up the white, the white, right? Let it rest. I always spray before I spray on my stencil. That's it. <gasps> little blue-eyed Kirby. Now we need to do red. We need to do red for his little cheeks. Wipe off this blue. These right here are his little cheeks. We'll grab our red is uh, 153. here now the part about the red is I'm gonna do his cheeks and his shoes his shoes are red too we can add just a smidge more red there you go nice and red all right so two things gonna do his little cheeks line it up Uh -uh. 
there. Because his eyes are right here. And it's supposed to be on either side of his eyes. Well, really his mouth. His mouth is there. And there. So I'm going to look and make sure. Yeah. The best thing about these stencils is they're a little stretchy. So I can like pull it to make sure just in case. And I'm going to do a little bit. Just a dollop. Right there. Okay. There go his little cheeks. So we're gonna take them, pop them back in the lamp, give him 10 seconds, let's clean off our stencil. Let's see cool, put that one back in our stencil book. Where is he? There he is. Ah! And now let's do his feet. His feet are red too. Real easy. You just gotta line it up. Like so. Might be a little, little bit. There. So you can see his body. Well, I can see his body through this dental. So, now I'm seeing a little bit of glitter through there, so I got an idea. I'm gonna cure this for just 10 seconds. So since I'm seeing a little bit of glitter, what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to put a little bit of pink and a little bit of white, right? And that's just going to make this a little bit more opaque. Because it's... Um, the red is a little thin. I'm going to stir it up. See how it still stays red? It's almost a hotter red. But it's deeper. So let's see. It's a little too pink. So add a little bit more red to it. My red is getting a little bit old. So that's why it's kind of like thick. But that's cool. It's easily remedied. There you go. There we go. Pop down the lamp. Cure him. Cure his little feet. Get rid of his waist face. I'm going to give him a full cure. Cool. Darn it, I gotta take this off. And look, a Kirby. See? I'm cute. I'm real cute. Clean off this. Put this in the book. Let's get us some top coats. We're gonna make them shiny. Because why not? Humans on glitter. This is like the end of this top coat. It's just a little bit more left. Here we go. Pop that in the lamp and give that 60 seconds. Well, 30 seconds. It's LED. 
This is LED cure. This is that Tammy Taylor glass slipper. It's a no white top gel. And let's go back to our photo and see what we did. Did we do it? Did we get her? We did. We got Kirby real good. So, yep, yeah, we did this one. I didn't do the one with the glasses. There we go. So, guess what? It can be airbrushed. Thank you for joining me. And go follow Love Skill now. She was the inspiration for this design. Thanks, guys.